What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Compulite and Compulite Charges and Citations. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here. Today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans. God bless Israel. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Compulite and Compulite Charges and Citations. Now as I'm speaking in this video, I'm sure you guys see my vlog that I posted. Uh, when I post this video, it will be last night that um or it might be tonight i don't know uh but i did post a vlog guys they just had but jojo just had updates on four of his mods which was um simple call outs ultimate backup stop the pad and compulite so guys i will leave the bajojo link in the description below so just in case you haven't went and got your uh most recent updated version of those mods uh, which we're going to be downloading one of them right here uh, then you can click that link, that Jojo link, and go right to it and download your. Uh, so that if you download this one with me, you'll just need to stop the pad, ultimate backup, and simple call outs. That's all you'll need. All right, guys. So, with that being said, without further ado, guys, uh, click that first link down there. They are in the description. Click that Compulite link, guys. And when it says Compulite, it's going to bring you this page right here. Compulite 1450, guys. Brand new version just came out today. Um. So we're going to just scroll on down here, guys. And you're going to click this blue download button here. You guys notice I'm changing my cursor size and the colors so you guys can see it a little better. It's for your benefit. And it looks cool, too. I like it. Uh, click download right there, guys. Now, this is going to be a quick process. You're going to click download again and then uh, exit like out of it almost immediately. Because it pops up a window. If mine will actually take me to it. Okay, here we go. So you're going to click this green download button right here where my big yellow cursor is. Click that, guys, and then close out of that window just like that, okay? What do you want to do with Compulite 1450, guys? You can save it to your downloads folder right here, or you can click Save As and put it on your desktop. I'll show you how to do that. Click Save As and go up here to your file explorer. Make sure you are under... The part that says this PC and then click desktop right below that and then see how it's in there like that just click save it puts it right on your desktop simple as that guys next link is going to be realistic charges and citations realistic uh, charges and citations okay guys they have one for computer plus but this one is for CompuLite okay guys now this is what it does guys okay see how it adds to the CompuLite for that's the citations there, I believe, and then this right here is yeah that's also citations. I'm trying to get to the uh, charges, if they even have that. Okay, and then this is your charges right here, guys. So guys, let me tell you how to do this. Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Let's go ahead and scroll down and click download this file right here, the green download button. All right. Hope you guys are having a great week so far, and that you're. Happy and where you want to be in life. You're staying in consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. It's important to do that, guys. What do you want to do with CompuLite charges and citations? Uh, again, guys, you can click save right here to put in your download folder. Or click save as and put it on your desktop or your destination of choice. Okay, guys. Now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and close out of our window there. Now, before we get started, um, you know what? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll just tell you in a minute. That way it makes more sense, okay? I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> So open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, guys. Open up your GTA 5 directory. It's going to look like this. All right. And you want to scroll down a little bit where you're right above that GTA 5 EXE. We are going to be installing right in this general area right here. Okay. Go ahead and double-click CompuLite, guys. We're going to go ahead and do that first. All right. Now, I've already installed the brand-new version, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it and lead you through it. Double-click Comp. Sorry, guys. Double-click CompuLite there. All right. Now, this is a brand new version, so it is safe to install the Rage Native UI.dll. Okay. So go ahead and highlight that Rage Native uh, UI.dll. Highlight plugins. You're going to grab these. You're going to drag them. 
And three, two, one, drop right there, guys. As simple as that, okay? Go back, exit out your WinRAR, close, uh, get rid of that shortcut right there. Now, next up, uh, go ahead and refresh your page real quick. Next up, what we're going to do, guys, go ahead and double click your uh, charges and cit citations. I can't even talk today, guys, I swear. All right, but I can never talk, so. Uh, anyway, I want you to go over here in your in your main directory and double click plugins. All right, and then double click LSPDFR. Now, down here, we're going to take care of this part first, guys. Let's go into Compulite INI. See where I'm at right here, guys? Let's go into Compulite INI. Now, mine is going to be different from yours because I've already pre manipulated my files, guys. Um, so mine's going to look a little different than yours. Yours should say E up here, I believe, is what it says by default. Uh, you probably want to change that to X because if you hold, it says, uh, open compu uh, computer key, you should hold the key to open CompuLite. Now, if you hold down E, guys, it's going to honk the horn on your police car. It's going to just go, okay, which is why I changed it from E to X, okay? Just make sure whatever you change it to, guys, it is a capital letter. It has to be capital, okay? So moving on down, if I were you guys, I would just leave this alone right here just the way it is. This is left control uh, numpad zero, number pad zero. This pulls up your tablet when you're outside the vehicle. Okay, guys, I'll show you how to do all that in the video. We are going to go into game. And then after you write your citation, your ticket, whatever you want to call it, you walk up to the uh, pedestrian's vehicle and you turn towards their, their uh, driver's side door uh, facing them and you hit left control X. And it actually hands them a citation. So it's actually real realistic, guys. Like, we're getting into the realistic part of this game now, okay? I want to say that's about it. Uh, if there's anything down here, guys, which I don't think there is, that set your controller, just go ahead and set all this controller stuff to none. You can do that by highlighting the word none here uh, and hitting copy. And then go down to the rest of them and highlight them. And then click right-click and paste. Or you can just simply control V. Okay. Now, if you do not have the option to put in to put the to copy the word none, all you have to do is just type it in. Just make sure it's typed just the way it looks. Capital N and then the rest lowercase O N E. Okay. That's all you gotta do, guys. That's pretty much it. And that's it for that. So with being the fact that you guys made some changes, I assume you did. Go to file guys, click save right there, or click X and then click save when prompted to, okay? So let's go ahead and refresh here. Go back to the main directory. Refresh that. Um, oh, we got one more thing we got to do, guys. I'm so sorry. I almost forgot. Charges and citations. Uh, go ahead and double click your plugins folder one more time. Double click LSPDFR. Now, right here, this CompuLite folder. See where I'm at, guys? See where I'm at right up here? Right up here, okay? So what you want to do is you want to double click that CompuLite folder right there. Now, if you'll notice here, charges and citations. See that? And you look over here, charges and citations. See how that matches up? So all you're doing, guys, you're going to grab these and it's going to replace these. Now, I am not going to replace the charges, but I am going to replace the citations, however, only because um, the charges part... If you inst I'm just going to tell you guys ahead of time before we do this. If you guys put in the charges and overwrite this one, okay, that little um, charge in your original CompuLite that says warrant for arrest will no longer be there, okay? That's the only reason why I'm not putting the charges in and only the citations that I'm putting in, okay? Because I like that arrest warrant charge i like that because when you pull people over and you have to admit guys we do find a lot of people in lsbfr that have warrants for their arrest bench warrants felony warrants okay you want to be able to have that option when you pull somebody over that has a bench felony a bench warrant or felony warrant okay but it's completely up to you guys you can install them both if you want to but for me this is what i'm going to do guys if you want to install them both just highlight them both like this drag them and three, two, one, drop, just like that, okay? And if you drag and drop both of them, it's going to ask you to replace the two files, okay? Go ahead and replace them, all right? Now, for those of you that just want to install the citations, this is how you do it. You grab the citations. 
Now, once you do this, your citations and your CompuLite will change, but your charges will remain default, okay? Just the way they come with CompuLite. If you guys ever want to know what what's in there, just go over here in your uh, main directory and double-click charges, okay? And then you just click X on that, close out of that. This shows you everything in your CompuLite for charges, okay? So let me show you guys. This is the one with the arrest warrant, warrant for arrest or whatever it is. I'm going to show you. All right, right here, warrant for arrest. See that? An unlawful assembly. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I use those two a lot, unlawful assembly and warrant for arrest. So I don't want those gone. And if I install the charges, it's going to take those out. It's going to take out tampering evidence, uh, transport undocumented immigrant. Uh, it's going to take out present during riot. It'll still have public intoxication and jaywalking and decent exposure. Uh, but the rest of that stuff that's really important to me that I think personally in my personal preference will be gone. So I'm not going to install that. So for those of you that just wants to install the citations, just go like this. Okay. Grab your citations, drag it, and drop it just like that. It will ask you to replace the file citations, replace it just like that. Okay, guys, so now you have your citations replaced and your charges remain a default under CompuLite, okay? So let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, WinRAR, delete that shortcut, okay? And then go all the way back to your main directory, refresh it, close out of that, guys. <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to showcase this for you guys, so I will see you guys inside of the game. Okay, guys, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to showcase CompuLite for you. I've actually decided to sit and run some radar until we get a speeder. I just thought it would be cool maybe to mix a little episode in with this uh, showcase and make it a little bit more fun for myself and for you guys as well. Let's go ahead and hop in the, in the squad car here. And uh, we'll wait on the speeder. There was one out there. I don't think he was going too terribly fast. But we'll, uh, we'll sit right here and we'll, we'll wait on him. He was going 77. The speed limit six, set at 65, so that was pretty fast. I believe that's him right here. Oh, well, if it's not, we're going to pull somebody over. I think it is him, though. Pull it on over, man. Pull, I believe that was him. I hope it was. I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> Dispatch, go ahead and give me a 1028 on a 60 Mary John Roberts 731. Target license plate. 60 Mary John Robert 731. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some back up out of here. Dispatch, I'm gonna need some uh go to I'm gonna need some eleven ninety nine out here and uh Vine with Hills. Backup needed and Vine with Hills. Units respond code 2. How's it going, man? Uh, Officer Justice with the uh, Vinewood Hills Police Department. The reason I pulled you over, man, I caught you back there doing 77 and a 65. You got a license, uh, registration, proof of insurance. Driver seems to be nervous. Oh, okay. Cool. So this must be a part of the new uh, stop the ped and stuff like that. Let's uh, worry, let me back up a little bit here. Just want to open up the menu on stop the ped. Yeah, it's wanting to make the menus clash. Huh. We might have to change that. We just might have to change that. And maybe he did it like that for a reason. Let's go ahead and get his uh, driver's license. Get flown. Cause they're both ID anyway. Oh, you can ask for registration too. No kidding. Thank you. Wow, that's cool. Look Pull at that. Now right, just hang tight, man. All right, my backup's coming. All right, so Jake Charlton, uh, four twenty-three, nineteen seventy-five. Uh, okay, expired. So he does have an expired registration or something. What, what was it? What was it expired? All right, let me get twenty-seven. Just pass. Give me a twenty-seven. On a Jake Charleston, uh, 423-1975. Sorry, guys. I didn't quite catch what was expired. Must have been his registration. All right. So, uh, Mr. Charleston, uh, 
Just for safety issues, man, uh, go ahead and put your hands on behind your back for me real quick. Just for safety issues, man, I'm detaining you. Just for safety purposes only. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and relax. I'm going to take you over here where it's a little bit safer, my man. All right. Just hang tight for me. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, relax. I'm going to get my tablet up here and check you out. Make sure if you're clean, I'm going to let you go, okay? If you're clean, I'm going to let you go. I right, let's get his name pulled up on the tablet. Guys, this is Compulite on the tablet mode. That is control number pad zero. So the number pad on the very right of your keyboard, guys, it's left control number pad zero, okay? And you can pull his name up like this. I believe you can do it by vehicle records. Too. Well, no, because we, we're not, we've done past that part. Okay, so Jake Charlton. All right, so we are going to create this guy a citation for speeding. Now, this is what I love about the CompuLite citations. You go to speeding, you got 15 plus under, 5 to 14 over, 15 to 20 over, 21 to 26, etc., etc. This is what I love about the citations on CompuLite, okay? So he was doing 77 and a 65, so he was doing roughly, what, 6 over the speed limit? You know what? I might just cut this guy a break. Probably doing six over the speed limit. You know what? We're going to give him a written warning. I hope my game does not crash when I do this because it, I've heard that you're supposed to uh, untick the um, appear the the um, court appearance thing. Notice to appear. You're supposed to uncheck that when you give someone a written warning. So... We're going to give him a written warning for unlawful speed over posted limit. That's the only thing I got on here for that, it looks like. Yeah, so we're going to give him a ticket for that. And then before you guys submit this, make sure you do uncheck the notice to appear. And then when you go back to write another ticket, make sure you click on notice to appear. But when you're doing written warnings, you have to uncheck notice to appear or it will crash. Or he might have fixed that. I don't know. I'm not going to chance it right now. Uh, so we're going to submit citations. I did not mean to knock him out. That was a bad mistake. Okay, guys. So we're just going to pull somebody over here. Just so I can show you guys how to hand the citation to him. Dispatch 1 item 7. Go ahead and give me a 1028 on a 66 Frank Mary King 937. Target license plate. Six, six, Frank, Mary, King, nine, three, seven, no, ten, ninety-nine. I get him. Ooh, I got him. Wow, that was a really good shot. <laughs> uh, that's funny stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get out. All right, so they've changed out the pest. We're going to do this the best we can because it's going to interact with the vanilla, so one of them's going to be changed. You got some idea, man? Give one. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and write him a so-called uh, fake ticket for speeding, so let's go back to the car. I'll be right back with you, man. Mr. Bordiga. Alright, so I'm going to hold down the key, which for me was X to open up CompuLite. You guys hold down the key that you chose. Alright. So we're going to pull him up here. He's had one ticket for careless driving. He's never been in jail. Let's go ahead and create a citation. We're just going to save his speeding, guys, just for whatever, you know. Um... And that's that's all about all I'm gonna go in for for five to fourteen over. I think that's what I had, wasn't it? Five to fourteen. Yeah. So go ahead and submit these uh, the citation. Gonna hop back out, guys. Gonna walk up to the car. Walk up the side of the door just like this. And at this point, guys, you are going to hit Control X, and that is going to give him the citation. So left Control X. So here's your citation. It's not a mission good. Just saying that you'll pay the ticket before the court date. And that you'll show up to, I mean, you're, you're going to pay the ticket and show up to court, okay, man? Um, make sure that you go to court, okay? Your court date's going to be on January 7th at 9.30 in the morning at the, uh, at the Sandy, I'm sorry, the Blaine County Courthouse. 
So make sure you show up, man, okay? 930. Be there every square, Bubba. All right? And don't be speeding on my highway like that again. Do you understand? Because next time it's not going to be pretty for you, boy. And don't leave till I get my vehicle, punk. Stupid. And that's about it, guys, for Compulite. Alright, that is about it, guys. So, get the gist of it. That's it right there, guys. Thank you guys for doing my video. I appreciate the love and support so much, guys. We're going to continue installing these plugins. Um, if you guys have any suggestions below for plugins you'd like me to install that we have not installed in this series yet, guys. Before you make any suggestions down below, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to my playlist and go down to LSPDFR Tutorials, the one that says third series, and that is the series we are working on right now, okay? So look in there before you make any suggestions, okay? That way there's no, nobody's repeating themselves, and I don't have to say, well, we've already done that in the series, and you know what I'm saying, guys? But anyway, look at that playlist and the third series of LSPDFR Tutorials, uh, third series, guys, okay? And then come back and make a suggestion on what plugin you would like to see next, guys. And, to, and guys, I've also heard for the ones of you that are having uh, trouble with your open IV, I did see a, a tweet on Twitter today about how they have a solution for open IV and that uh, it will be out tomorrow. They're going to put the update out tomorrow evening sometime. So you guys be ready for that, guys. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.